Hey, guess what we're up to today? We're going outside. We've got to transplant Brody before it gets any more into springtime. And then we're going to take a little peek around and see what changes we're going to make. I'll see what's coming up besides the weeds. Looks like we have tulips. There's a few more coming up here. And some buds on the rose. This is full sun, and this little guy should actually be more in the shade. And this is where we're planning to put some vegetable garden. So right in this area here. So he needs to be moved right over here. So I have two little trees here that are probably, I'm just gonna pop these out. And that's a redwood cedar. And I think that one is a Douglas fir. So Rhodes don't have super deep roots, so we won't have to go too far down. We think the original owners may have planted this over 30 years ago and they used landscape fabric everywhere which isn't a problem if you don't plan to plant anything but now that we want to work this area we have to remove it all which we have but we still find some of it around the roots this really was compact dirt so i'm just kind of working the dirt trying to loosen everything up and find the roots to the roadie And once we found our way to the roots, we just start cutting and snipping. In the three years that we've lived here, I've had to prune it back a lot too. It was never very big to start with, but it had a lot of dead on it and burn from the sun. It looks small, but actually this plant, because it's been here for so long, it did have an extensive root system. Probably not the ideal spot for it. It's been struggling since we moved in here, so I'm kind of glad to be moving it. And then it started raining here, so I had to take the camera inside, but I wanted to continue because I really wanted to get this done. So I just continued on. I'm going to try now to pull this poor little guy to his new home. So <laughs> try it as I might. I really, I could barely budge it. It was so heavy with all the clay on the roots there and just having such a big root system. I had to leave it. I got it out, but I had to leave it and find help. And by then it was quite late. We just put it on a tarp and we just drug it over to its new home. We put it onto a tarp and we just pulled it over and plunked it in. So you wanna make sure for roadies you don't bury them too deep. And then we swatted it in, it's really good. We give it some compost. It's in the shade here, a little bit of, it'll get some sunlight still. But here we're just going to um, see how he does. Maybe, maybe an Annabelle hydrangea over behind here, we'll see. Anyway, so hopefully he'll be okay there. And um, yeah, so that was our little transplant. Anyway, so thanks for popping by, and we'll catch you on the next one. He's looking for dinner. <laughs>